First of all, let's get logged in and enabled. Now let's start off by viewing the current IP route table. To do so, execute the show IP route command. You'll notice here that the only routes or network that I see here are networks that are directly connected. If you look at this display, you will note that the 170.16 network is showing the correct mask and four directly connected networks, dot one, dot two, dot two fifty two, and dot two fifty three. It also indicates what interfaces they are directly connected to. Now I want to go ahead and try to ping my local router, for example the 2800A router. It is directly connected to network 2, so I should get a 100% success on this router. The reason being that currently I'm directly connected to network 2, and it understands how to get to every destination on 2. But suppose I change this ping slightly, and try to ping 172.16.3.1, which is on the other side of the 2800. Notice what happens. I get a timeout because this router has no idea which direction to send this ping information. ICMP is going to say that it has no idea where to go, what interface to leave, how to move the data because it doesn't understand what network 3 happens to be. So what we learned here is that by default a router only has its directly connected networks in its route table. 